All right. Hi. Oh, finally. You just the most irrelevant small talk before that. I'm like, oh, my face is really dry. Yeah. <laughs> like, like as if we had, don't know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we classic. try not to talk until we start rolling because we don't want to say anything too funny and miss it. So we just kind of sit here in silence like, Night. it's cold out today. Cold, huh? like, yeah. Like, like small talk with strangers. Yeah. It's a oh, classic man. weather talk. It does, the weather talk does make sense, though. It's really the only universal thing there is. That's why people default to it, I think, is it's like, you yeah. could say something like, oh, did you see this in the news? Maybe they didn't. Everyone experiences the weather. Everyone, it's, a, it's a safe. Yeah. It's safe. No, we've talked about this before. I think I, I have. Yeah, I think I have. And I up. hate, I just hate when I catch myself doing it, though. I'm like, really? Everyone like, I does. couldn't think of anything. Else. Like, I do it, though. I do weather talk, like, hardcore. Like, and I catch myself all the time being like, oh, it's freezing. Like, that's my go-to. And it's just really disappointing. But I, I'm not good at small talk. I'm I know Joke did it to Rick when I walked in. I no like, it's joke. cold out. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, it's freezing today. Yeah, it's it's fucking cold. We were just sitting here, and I was like, damn, it's, my face is dry because it's cold out. And Tommy was like, yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. 10 out of 10, not a good conversation starter. But anyways, um, um, how's it going? Are we on episode, like, five, five. of the new season? Damn. This is five. I haven't been, um, I know it's like, been busy. track, but... It's tough doing all the... Uh, I mean, you do even more work than I do with the editing and stuff, but... No, it is yeah, a, it's lot. a lot. It's a lot. Of it's a lot to keep up with. Like, Just more, and... more doing stuff, not getting paid. Yeah, more, <laughs> like, just Story of our lives. Getting the proper respect that we deserve. But how was your Thanksgiving? Uh, it was solid. My parents came here because my, as I've said, oh, nice. my sisters now live in Upper East Side, right. and my brothers playing hockey in Europe. So there's no one in Boston, really. Right. So my parents came to New York. We went out to eat Wednesday night, nice, nice dinner. Thursday night, cooked some stuff in my uh, my sister's apartment. Yeah. But I was saying this is funny, is that like I I say we co- they cooked. Okay. It's so yeah, funny we that cooked. I, know. I am 31 years old, Dude. and like my sole job at Thanksgiving is setting the table. I don't even do that. Yeah. I don't think. Like, I've been alive three decades. Yeah. And that's the only thing I'm trusted with at Thanksgiving is yeah. like, just put the utensils onto the table. And I'm sure there's like an order to it, too. Like, four. I don't even do I don't that. I don't know it. No. I can no, just, no, no. I'm just trusted with, just it's, get them on the table. It's there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's so, that's so funny. I mean, my, we have a big family group chat with all my cousins and my aunts and uncles, and everyone's like, okay, who's bringing what? And I am literally silent. And I'm eventually, this year, I was like, yo, am I like, I was like, at what point do I need to start bringing things? Like, I'm 30. Right. And they were like, just, sh- just shush. Yeah. Like, you don't have to do it, okay? And my sister was like, I guess, like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like once you start making a certain income. And my aunts were like, we're not going to, like, W2 everyone before Thanksgiving. Like, yeah. that's not how it just, that's like, funny. be useful. But I, I don't know how to be useful. So I just continue to not. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it's like unless you're asked to do something. But then it's also like, yeah, we got to remind ourselves we are. We've been alive for three decades. 30. Like, like, most, that I think that was, like, in cavemen era, like when people died of natural causes. Yeah, you died of old age at yeah. 30. Yeah, and, and we can't even baste the turkey. Like, that's what I'm saying. No, like, there are like eight-year-olds. No. There are like eight-year-olds at Thanksgiving who are on basting the turkey. Dude, Dude, I, I'm not even there. I, I'm like I'm like a yellow belt. I'm setting a table. I can't even. White belt, even. White belt. I need to graduate to basting the turkey there. What is even next? Red belt? I don't even know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I need a... I think you're right. I think we got to pick up the pace. Yeah, a little I, bit, I was but. like, you guys, when do I need to step in? And they just were like, you know what? Why don't you just sit back? It's like I, I didn't even buy a pie. Like I should have done that. Right. But I am comedic relief. I'm sort of a good time. Locker so I feel person, that that's. Yeah. They seem to be doing fine without us. They've though. been doing fine. That's the thing. It's like we haven't added anyone else to the family. We've just all gotten older. So why don't the old people keep doing what they do? And I'll right. just keep doing nothing. Don't fix it if it's not broken. Why well, fix a broken? I mean, yeah. why fix? Yeah, exactly. Why fix a system that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is it? I think what it's is just it? Just don't fix it. Just if it's not don't broken. fix it if it's not broken. Literally, if it ain't broken. Yes, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's yeah. what I was trying to say. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be helping out much. Were you kind of trying to maybe combine it with like even a broken broken clocks? Definitely twice right not. A day. No. Definitely not. I've never I thought you were trying to match life. up. No, no, no. What was That's that? That's a good one. Though. Even a blo- a broken clock is right twice a day. Oh, Pretty good one. that's that's nice. It's, yeah, I didn't make it up. No, I know. I assume. Imagine if I did. I, I was like, I, was like, like I made that up. <laughs> yeah, I just made that up right now. Right now on the spot. Oh. Don't look it up, though. Pretty much it. Uneventful. This was my Nothing first crazy. year not doing the whole, like, go out Thanksgiving Eve with your high school friends thing. And I, famously, that has been, like, my favorite night of the year. Yeah. Like, there was fun. one year... 
a couple years ago where I, sl- I literally ended up at a nursing home at 3 a.m. I remember that. And I took a photo of the nursing home <laughs> lobby and I posted it being like, what, how the fuck did I end Hilarious up Hilarious picture. Yeah. Hilarious picture. What actually happened was I was like locked out of my friend's apartment in Southie and like my phone died. I had nowhere to go. And I see this like glowing building and I walk into it being like, listen, do you, you, do you have a phone charger? And they were like, this is a nursing home. They're like, you think these old people have phones? <laughs> You, but they did have a place for me to charge my phone, thank God. So I, the best part of this story, though, is it's 2 a.m., probably, three, 2 or 3 a.m. I'm at a nursing home. Are you alone? Sorry. Alone. Okay. Alone at a nursing home. I <laughs> go in. I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. Can I charge my phone? And they weren't going to be like, go fuck yourself. They, like, the guy working there was like, all right. Mind you, I was also, like, a little bit blacked out. So this is all hazy. But my favorite part of the whole story is my phone turns on. I call an Uber. The Uber comes to get me. I just get in the Uber and I'm like, thanks. And I just, he takes me home to Wellesley. Like, what was he thinking? He's like, why am I picking up this girl from a nursing home at 3 a.m.? I really say good. nothing about it. I'm just like, thanks. I like, thought it was like a booty call. With yeah, some like old guy. leaving my boyfriend. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just said nothing. He's like expecting probably an old person or expecting some sort of like, oh, like, why the fuck were you there at 3 a.m.? I don't know. It just, yeah. my favorite thing is what must that Uber driver to, thought was happening? Yeah. But so yeah, put Herb to bed. Yeah, exactly. So this had to give him his meds. Um, (laughs) but this this was my first Thanksgiving not doing. Right, I haven't done that in a bit. I eh, maybe like a handful of years, but yeah, yeah, it is always fun. It was so it was always fun, but it's just yeah, people have like that was a hilarious story for you. Beyonces and girlfriends, and it's too busy now. I guess I know, man. Everyone's getting old. Everyone's growing up. Yeah, it sucks. It's nuts. This is the first year I'm feeling like things are starting to get a little different. That's like what this I past mean. Past year. That's what I mean. Like this was the first year where I was like, "Oh wow, I'm not in the same." Yeah, it's just the vibe of everything's a little different. Like people are very like with boyfriends and girlfriends, or yeah. married, or having kids. Yeah, separating a little a bit kids. more. Not a ton. Like I still see all my friends every weekend, but like just a little bit. Some yeah. people moved. Some people. It, I old. definitely feel it. I feel the age that we are now. Yeah, I still feel like 25 at heart. But I feel yeah. everyone around me. I think is what I mean. I think I feel everyone around me sort of like things are changing. Like at a glacial pace, but it's happening. But it's happening. I think I'm noticing it now. Yeah. But it's okay. Being home was fun. Being home with my nephew was amazing. He's so cute. Yeah, Um, he's a cute kid. Yeah, so it was good. What else is new? I don't know. It's freezing. And I I was thinking about this the other day. Like, have you ever, has anyone ever asked this question? You've probably heard this question. It's like, would you rather be like really hot or really cold? We yeah, might we have even talked about this. Week. Yeah. But I'm saying what bothers me is when people are like, it's like, would you rather be really hot or really cold? And it's like, well, if you're cold, you can just like put on a put bunch a of clothes. That's not the question. We didn't ask. Yeah. The question is if you were cold yes. or if you were really hot. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, if you're hot, if you're hot, you go in front of a fan. That's not the question. There is no fan. There right. is no fan. It, would you rather be hot mm-hmm. or really cold? That'd be like the feeling. You can, the yeah, feeling. Right. Not. Which one's easy? We didn't ask, is it easier to fix being hot or yeah. to fix being cold? It's right. what do you, Yeah. So it's kind of like adding adding your own like- There are no addendums here. Addendums to yeah. your would you rather Yeah, is not Oh, here's my welcome. other- Yeah. And here's my other take. I think, I think we should move Thanksgiving to like late February, early March. Mm, we need something. That's so true. I think like, first of all, there are too many holidays mm-hmm. smashed together in such a short period of time. Yep. It's Halloween, Thanksgiving, yeah. Christmas. And first of all, when so many good things are crushed so close together, you don't get to appreciate all of them to the fullest. Yeah, not at all. Right? Just naturally, that's how mm-hmm. things are. The more exposed too you are to good things, good thing. you don't appreciate it. Yeah. And also like, like Halloween, you kind of need the fall. It's like kids are outside trick-or-treating. You don't... But like Thanksgiving's like a hunger down holiday. You sit inside yeah. and you drink and eat all day. Mm-hmm. That can be done in February, March. Totally. And the main point though is something to look forward to because February and March blow. February, think about uh, January. I guess you have like New Year's Eve and you like pretend you're going to lose weight and then you don't. Yeah. But that's always fun. <laughs> yeah. But then you've got February. Oh. Valentine's Day. Who fucking cares? Not me. If anything, it's worse. I'm like, not me. Uh, yeah. No, then you have February, nothing. March, nothing. April, nothing. It's fucking cold and freezing. Yeah. May, May, maybe is kind of nice. But let's, why don't we throw something in there? You need something in there. Or just like an add a new holiday. Throw add something a new holiday. in like, just, Earl, what would be a good just new holiday? Something, it doesn't even have to honor anything because it can just be like family day. 
But then there's all, you know, some people don't have families. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Like, there's gonna be a problem with <laughs> right, everything, right. you know? Like, ugh, yeah. Yeah. Can we just? I mean, there's Groundhog. I don't even know what fully what Groundhog Day is. Yeah. Like, but what if we have is a holiday for Groundhogs, also? we can throw a holiday for. I don't know, bears? There is a, like, legitimate groundhog, though, right, that they bring Let's out. Let's look it up. We might have to look yeah. up what groundhog day is. Well, I know what it is. It's like, but I think there's, like, a government-recognized groundhog. Literal animal. Oh, his name is, uh... Okay, is yeah, it Tapuscatani a... something, or is that a completely different thing? No, I think you're right. Puscatani Phil nar- or something? Oh, no, no, wait, sorry. Groundhog Day is a tradition is observed in the United States and Canada on February 2nd. February. Okay. Let's... Maybe, okay, so it's our fault. People need to start sending it harder on February. People 2nd. need to celebrate that more. That's what it is. Um, starting blah blah blah. Starting this, it derives from the Pennsylvania superstition that if a ground Pennsylvania Dutch superstition that if a groundhog emerges from its burrow, sees its shadow, retreats, is done, whatever, whatever. Um. Okay, no, the the ceremony is held in Punxsutawney, in Western Pennsylvania. Punxsutawney. So you are right. Phil, I think, is the. It's, it's a funny name for a groundhog. Phil is is good, but. Uh yeah, we gotta celebrate. Maybe that's the day that we eat like with Feb- our family. I like February second, or just like make it a. You could even make it like a friend holiday. Like we're gonna send it for Puxatani. Yeah, Phil. yeah, Puxatani Phil. Like yeah. go hard for him. Yeah. I know we need. Some, we just. I kind of just think we need stuff to look forward to, and it's it's a lot. It's a lot of. You're right. It's Halloween, Thanksgiving, and like how All am I supposed so to get close. anything done too? Right. I'm like- not doing. No offense. I'm not doing work. Yeah. The gen- now till the new year. The general vibe, I think, is like from Thanksgiving and New Year, everyone's just like, Dead. it's kind of a wash. No, it's a wash completely. Which is nice. I do like that part of it, that like all the holiday. It is fun, like, but it's by far the best part of the year. I think you just got to sp- spread it out a little more. Like, I think Thanksgiving, late February, I, I don't hate that idea. Yeah. Um, or just throw it in, like- <laughs> make up a new holiday for like, I don't know, air conditioners. Those are unbelievable. Some Imagine can, life without air conditioners. Some people can't afford those though. It's like, right. you know, you can't <laughs> yeah, fucking right. win around here. Okay. We just. Or just like bread day. Bread's amazing. Right. What is bread like day, bread? Bread is so. Make a bread day like March 1st and everyone can just eat a bunch of bread and drink is, a bunch of. Those holidays already exist. We just aren't celebrating them. Right. We nationally, need to get a government We need a nationally recognized. recognized holiday. You're right. Where we can do nothing. Right. We just got to convince everyone in the country to like dial on in board. on one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna look up. Well, we need it. We need it to be a bank holiday. So like banks are closed. We need like the banks to right. get in on it. Like, do you know anyone? Let's look at in, holidays in, in big March. bank. Because uh, March is a dark, dark, dark. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. Forgot about that. That's good, but that's but like fe- so. Really, February, Pi Day, like three point one four. Three one four. How many? How many digits of pi do you know? Three. That's it? 3.14? <laughs> I know 3.14159. Weird brag. Not to brag. But <laughs> on Pi Day, we'd be like, oh my God, at 159, it's like Pi Day or whatever. Yeah. That's all I know. But yeah. Or at 314. No, 314. No, on 314. Oh. At 159. Oh, okay. 3.14159. Oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, Yeah, so you gotcha, take nice, it a little nice. further. Nice. I like that. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So t- to the minute. National Puppy Day, National Pig Day, World Backup Day. What that is? Backup for what? Everyone just backs up their data everyone to just the <laughs> iCloud. <laughs> everyone, no, everyone just backs up physically. <laughs> <laughs> World backup. <laughs> just, at like two, at like three o'clock, everyone just takes what? a few steps backwards. What the fuck is this podcast? What is going on? Uh, World Candle Day. I like that. World Compliment Day. That's World, a good one. Yeah. We just have to be like, like. The world could use like a, a compliment more, day. Yeah, agreed. Um, so, which leads me to my next thing. Oh my um, so I had a a post that's going viral right now, and it's just making yeah, me yeah very funny. Thank you. It's the it's the one about for people listening. It's the um, system of a down song that I like made fun of, and it is so hard. Like every time I have a video that goes viral, I just realize like there are people out there who just hate women and they just hate them and there's nothing you can do about it and they will find you if you have a video that goes viral and you are a woman they will find you and they will tell you you're not funny you should die like it's it how insane is that to you that there's people who just hate women like well yeah it's like what we were talking about last week about the social media comments it's like people who just something happened to these people they didn't have enough love in their life and they just need an outlet (sighs) 
And yeah. they just think like, oh, let me just like yell at this person. It's just crazy that like, it's just insane. The, and it's really hard to not respond. Like I, I do I have a lot of respect for celebrities who don't respond at all because I don't, I try not to, but there are times where I'm like, I do. Oh I my do. God. I can't help it. When I can't I help it. Videos, I can't do Someone it. commented on the video, by the way, and, and I'm just not bragging. These are numbers. It has 2 million views, a uh, couple hundred thousand likes. Someone commented on it saying, <laughs> saying, I actually have it. I screenshotted it. Where is it? No one laughed at this. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No one laughed at this. Rough. Sad that we could count the number of funny females on one hand. Why is it so hard for them? And it's like, how am I not oh. supposed to respond and be like, actually, 500,000 people laughed at this? Yeah. It's, all, it's also not like you did it in front of like a live audience <laughs> no, and no one laughed. No it's one, a video. Yeah. How does he know that no one laughed? Are you in That's, front of everyone's phone yeah, watching like, them watch it? It just doesn't even make sense. It's like, people are so dumb. It's how crazy. am I not supposed to answer that and be like, what are you talking about? He goes, um, it's simply not funny. I'm not mad in any way. I just didn't even come close to laughing. Good try, I guess. Question mark. Such a dick. Such a dick. It's just insane the way people comment. I just, and it's like every time, and the, and also the band reposted it on their Instagram, yeah, right? So that. that's how a lot of angry men found me because they're fans of the band. And that is, like, that is the worst demographic to find uh, it, yeah. System of a Down Just heavy fans. metal fans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come to my page and they're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And people are commenting like, <laughs> being like, yo, do you even listen to System? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. They're on like first name basis, like calling it System. I just respond being like, no, with a heart. Like, do you listen? No. Yeah, that's not an angsty bunch. They're not going to get mad. Yeah, they're not going like, to get mad about gonna, anything. Yeah. They're not a women hating bunch. Like, oh my God, it's insane. Just, it's so hard to not. Uh, I did it literally earlier. I had like, those like the drunk text Europe videos I do like so I those are like automatic those go viral so sometimes like I told you this before if you post it but don't post your feed like it'll just go get pushed out to other people okay sometimes. I didn't know that but that's so yeah you can like not add it to your yeah, feed yeah, yeah. and then it goes to other people but sometimes you get like five views sometimes it works yeah but uh those just are automatic for me for whatever reason and uh, so sometimes I'll post it like multiple times, but I think sometimes people that follow you can s still get See, those, yeah, yeah. but not everyone, like some people. Yeah, yeah. And so someone today literally, po they were like, I posted another one like a few days ago. I posted this one maybe like three times, once on my feed and then a couple times. And they were just like, you've posted this like three times. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, why do you keep posting it? And then I was just like, I can't help but not respond you to have idiots. You have to. You have to. I was just to. like, because when I post it, it gets me a bunch of followers. Like, is that is that okay with you? Is that okay? Said, yeah, are you good with that? It's just so dumb. First of all, they're dumb. There's, there's oh, zero God. thought gets put into any comment. And they're also not even... It's it simply comes down to like sometimes numbers. No one laughed at this. What are oh, you talking that's about? That's ridiculous. Yeah, just rude people, and it's so hard to not respond. It's but just... a lot of times I've found like it's weird, and I've seen other comedians and celebrities like say the same thing. Like sometimes if you were if someone says something mean to you, and then you respond, then they'll like be nice after. They'll be like, yeah. sometimes that's happened. I think France or some. Down a they'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you'd answer. Oh, I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. But they just like, for some reason, feel Have like being to, a dick. Because yeah. that happened last time. I spelled a word wrong in one of those things. And someone like shredded me for it. And I was like, sorry. I'm like, ah, sorry. I got to be better. Like, it's just responding. He was yeah. like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. I love these, blah, blah, blah. Yep. I got I've one heard of the other lyrics say wrong. That too. I got one of the lyrics wrong in this system so song, and people did not like that. And they were like, "Do you even fucking listen to System?" And I was like, "Sorry, I like should do my research better." And not saying like, that's what everyone. What do you fucking sure. want me to say? No, people, yeah. a few people, few angry like men. People have this mindset about women, and it's so insane to me. Like, yeah, they're absurd. just not fun. Which brings me to overrated, overrated, underrated women. <laughs> 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 no, I think we need a controversial clip i i think we need um do you think women can be funny should we just i say no i think we should say no we both say no <laughs> you do ask you, think women... you ask me and then i'll say no say that'll no, really get and people then I'll going say no and then i'll too. punch you yeah 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 do you think women can be funny <laughs> no yeah i don't think so either <laughs> what do you think <laughs> what do you think america sound off sound off <laughs> sound off in the comments below like what do we what do you need to do to get views around here seriously like what do you need to do seriously i don't know it's fucking frustrating but that I think also the nazis were misunderstood personally <laughs> what do you think sound <laughs> off like, sound wait, off I, in the comments i saw um you know jake shane on tiktok yeah he's i saw one where somebody was like do um dora the explorer like waiting for you to answer her question. And you know how she's like, 
can you yeah. lead me to the bridge? Do you know where the bridge is? So he did. Set, she just yeah. waits. And in the video, he's like, can you show me where it is? And then he's like, I'm sorry, I just I can't do this today. Like, it's so, he's, he's really he's funny. so good. But as we talked about before, he kind of gets just fed prompts. He gets fed Which prompts. is the hardest part. He does do a good, he, do, he, he does a lot of the, he because he nails the delivery and he. He delivers. Yeah, he delivers. But like getting fed prompts like that and already I having wish. a built-in format wish, yeah. that works where all you have to do is like, read a prompt and the prompts people give him are amazing hilarious that's amazing. what that's what's funny about them right and like, then he those are the job. sketches like if we could think of those ideas we'd be we'd freaking be making them yeah we amazing should, yeah i mean honestly they're really good but uh brings me to one more thing that i just this is just like an announcement for men and anyone out there like if you and this is, is something that bothers me if you are going to slide into someone's dms mm. and which doesn't happen a lot to me but when it does i notice this if you're going to slide into someone's dms don't have a private profile. What am I supposed to do with that? That too. Like if you're, even like if you want to have a private profile, slide in someone's DMs, make your profile public for like a day and then go back to private. But like, I'm not going to respond to you if I can't see a single not to like be shallow, but I'm not or, gonna no, fuck I mean, in. That's <laughs> like, not shallow. That's literally not be shallow. like Sasquatch. You <laughs> yeah, don't know. It'd be like actually Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Yeah. So <laughs> imagine <laughs> you're like this guy. This guy I'm like, I don't want to be shallow. You're like I can't tell. The pic's a little blurry. I show if it's literally Bigfoot. His pics are always blurry. <laughs> yeah. Is his profile? But you know how you can screenshot it and zoom way <laughs> yeah. in, and it's like a little blurry. But yeah, don't slide into someone's DMs if you've uh, uh if I can't find anything about you, Fair. I'm not gonna respond. Also, like the ones you've showed me, like. Just in general, like the lack of awareness I you a screenshot of people. Yeah. If you, if I ever sent a D, <laughs> yeah. which like if I ever sent a D to episode was to, that said like, hey baby with like 20 <laughs> yeah. Ys yeah. and didn't get a response, I'd kill myself. <laughs> Not to mention follow up three days later with like, you're hot. Why yeah. aren't you answering me? Dude. What's going on? What do you mean? Why isn't she answering you? I sent what you a is screenshot. Going, what are people thinking? Let me read it. Hold on. Let me What's read happening it. with people? <laughs> What's happening? It's the most shocking thing. Okay. Oh. I sent this to Tommy. Just no context. What do they think? Not So what do they think someone not answering means? That's you know what, what I, I mean? don't get. It's, that's the most, like the most it says universal. Scene. It says scene. This one says, what's good with five exclamation points. Oh, okay. Gross. In October, October 22nd, you're beautiful. October 31st, hot with a fire emoji. <laughs> fire emoji. November 5th, hey, what's good? Like, dude, dude, it's read insane. the room, my read brother. Read the room. It's just crazy. And like, read the room, my guy. It's, God. And I'm all for like shooting your shot. That's great. I right. think, I think, takes balls for sure. Do it because if you're, someone I'm interested in and I can see your profile like I can see that working out I don't have a problem with that at all it's when I one can't see you at all I'm not right. going to respond you could literally be Bigfoot and second of all uh when you do it over and over and over and over it's like no like I, I saw the messages imagine if that's how we found Bigfoot because he <laughs> dm'd the- you <laughs> People have been looking for like thousands of years. <laughs> Clues everywhere. And, and like, just you just go on the news. You're like, I think I found him. I think <laughs> he just him. DM'd me. He keeps messaging me, even though I'm not responding. It's crazy. He's like, he's pretty needy, but like, <laughs> yeah. I think I got him. Good guy though. Yeah. <laughs> you meet oh. him at like a coffee shop. Oh my God. He that's speaks good. perfect English. He's like, I've just been like, I don't know. I just like, <laughs> I'm not good at, at socializing. That's uh, funny. But yeah, the DM situation is insane. Um... Oh yeah, another thing on Thanksgiving is so I was like on the train, so I went to Upper East Side with my sisters, and on the train back, I think this was Wednesday night, so this was like night before Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. What we're talking about, um, and there was like twenty five like high schoolers on the train. They must have been coming from like Long Island. It, they were just like so loud, so annoying, it was so insufferable. Happy. But like, yeah, so happy. They were like crushing like nips and like drinking vodka out of water bottles. And it was like, you know, the first couple of years you drink, they were just like the loud you obnoxious. Almost can't, like, and the girls were like, Mason. They're like, who has the leader? Get Dylan. Like, you're just screaming. Oh, my and God. And the guys were like, boys, like, but like, it was just so cringe. But it was so funny. And it's like, we that must have been us. Like, it must have been. Right. And that was, it was actually kind of a nice, wholesome moment because, like, uh, like ever they were like on Wait, one side of the and there was like, something. can you hear me? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. There was like 30 of them. You can also see us. I'm like, you're telling me a story and I'm like, um, okay, continue. Sorry. No, no. It's a, there was like just like 30, 25 kids, ton of them on one half. And then all the elders, like all us were like on the other half. Rolling but it was eyes. just funny. No, but it was kind of like wholesome because we were like, 
we were like laughing. We're like classic. Like, yeah, it is and we were cute. talking to each other. We were like, that must have been us too. Right. Like, Tr- uh, truly. Well, that's, I mean, I live on, I'm not going to give my address actually, but I live <laughs> right in a very busy area where there's a lot of schools. So every day at 8am and 3pm, the kids are outside screaming bloody murder. <laughs> it's actually, it's really funny. They're always, they're so loud and they're screaming. They're high schoolers. When school gets out, they scream. Three, I know what time it is at 3 p.m. because my apartment starts shaking. <laughs> they're screaming. They're flirting. Like, ah, like, so don't get me. Like, yeah. grabbing their hats. and like You know, the classic whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so recently, though, I hear it's like boy who cried wolf. Like, they could say anything. And I'm like, okay, they're just whatever. Yeah. So so a couple days ago, they're screaming, um, yo, this guy's being mad inappropriate. <laughs> I'm calling the police. And I was like, oh, silly kids, like, flirting You can outside. hear them that well. Oh, huh? like, like yeah. wh- for sure. Wow. Oh, this man's being, this guy's being mad and inappropriate. And I'm calling the cops. And I was like, oh, to be young and flirting. I go outside later. <laughs> There's like 20 cops outside. I guess there was a guy, he like exposed himself <laughs> and he's against the wall. And I was like, D- the one time I don't look out, right. it's real drama. Right. I thought it was just kids flirting like it always is. But I missed like the one good drama that happened right. on my street. And then I go outside. Saying, saying like, kind of that casually. So it's like, yo, this guy's be mad and appropriate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exposing <I was laughs> himself. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was like, oh, flirting's really, like, upped its ante. Like, I guess they're, like, flirting about calling the cops now. Like, I don't know what yeah. kids do. Right. Like, I don't know. I go outside. There's, like, actually, like, 20 cops. Wow. Uh, the was most like cops I've ever seen. Guy? Um, he was just, like, a dirty, young, young like, our age. Like, dirty 20, young 30, guy. 40. A DYG. And he, DYG, a classic <laughs> DYG. And he's pinned against the wall. Oh, I go outside. I'm so sorry. I can't not burp when I drink these. <laughs> sorry. I go outside and to see what's going on. And I look and he turns to me and he goes like this. He he goes like this and winks oh, at me. <laughs> I was like, my oh. God. He literally like, he like stuck his tongue at me like, la, 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 and then he winked at me. That is <laughs> so scarring. I literally, I will never be the same. Like <laughs> That is, I'm terrified. And no one saw it. There were cops all around him and he's pinned against the wall. He just makes eye contact with me. I'm not even going to do it again, but he, he just... <laughs> Really, like your reinterpretation of it, like grossed me out. No, like he winked at me after he did that with his tongue. The tongue thing's just like, (laughs) (laughs) he's like, how old was this guy? What did this guy look like? He was like, like, how homeless, skinny white guy, how homeless, honestly, or he looked kind of normal, no, like dirty, dirty, a DYG, yeah, (laughs) dirty white guy, dirty young white guy, and he. Just kind of like, I don't know. That's I thought sh- maybe they ro- had the wrong guy. I was like, oh, what are they doing to this guy? Like, maybe he didn't do anything wrong. And then he fully like stuck a little <laughs> and winked at me. And I was like, uh, I was like, prison, send him Ugh. to prison. Like, can I add something to his file? Because I was also just assaulted. Yeah. Write that down in the notes. Right. For the judge, <laughs> for the judge. Your notes, what he just did to me. <laughs> yeah. Because they're like, what do you do? I'm like, I can show you. Um, that gets him the highest how d- sentence. How disgusting is that? Yeah, that's oh, so I like good. buried that way deep down, actually. That's disgusting. <laughs> like, but, uh, keep but yeah, keep kids up. flirting, you know, is, are they flirting or are they to catch a predator? You don't know these days. Yeah. They're loud, though. They're loud so loud. Fuck. Yeah. Well, they just have, and that's what I was thinking when I was on the train. I was like, just wait till these, wait six years from now, kids. Not even six. It'll be like 10. Experience the cruelties and reality yeah. of the world oh yeah they'll it'll but for hit now them. you know let them have it let them have but it it was it. adorable the days it was so classic yeah i was happy one time yeah anyways <laughs> <laughs> anyways uh do you have any other updates uh this was pretty weird i was sitting on the so i, I play hockey once a week and i was sitting on the west side highway i was walking up to chelsea piers i was a little early so i just sat down and uh i am this actually like will baffle me for the rest of my life this guy who wasn't like a DYG, he was like a normal, mm-hmm. pretty normal. He was a white guy, maybe like a little older than us. Looked like pretty normal. Had like a satchel with him. And there's like no one else in the West of Highway. I'm just like sitting there. I'm picturing a satchel, like the stick. Like a with tote the, bag. But no, I'm that's a stick you know, and like bindle. Yeah, stick it's called and, a stick and bindle? Stick and bindle is the handkerchief? <laughs> that's what I'm picturing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, no, so it wasn't no, that. No, it was like a tote bag satchel type. Okay. Is that a satchel? Whatever. I don't know. Do people know what a stick and bindle? Would you have? That was insane that you just looked at me and were like, oh, a stick and bindle? That I was actually <laughs> crazy. What just happened? Okay. I don't know. Sound off. Do you Sound know what off. A, do you know what a stick and bindle is? Do you know what a stick and bindle is? Clip it. That's the one. But anyways, this guy just like sits down next to me. I got to read my notes for a second. I forget what he says. Oh, he goes, <laughs> he goes, this guy has a satchel. He sits down next to me and he goes, he goes, are you hungry by chance? <laughs> by, ch- by chance. And I go, hilarious. I have my headphones and I go, what? He goes, are you hungry? I go, 
no, I'm good. He goes, I have a bag of stuff. And I was like, no, I'm good. He was like, all right. And then he just got up and walked away. What? Wait. First of all, whatever you have in that bag, calling it stuff, stuff. terrible pitch. Yeah. Like, that's the worst possible pitch you could have for someone. That, I'm not going to have he... any follow-up questions to stuff. And then he just got up and walked away. I'm, I'm assuming maybe it was like drug or maybe it was like a shroom chocolate or like weed brownies or okay, something. That's probably what it was. But here's my question. Did you look homeless? No, but that I was thinking about was that. Was this a good Samaritan trying to help homeless people and you were the DYG? That's funny. <laughs> were you Or the like DYG we're on the same question. playing field and he was Fred. But that is funny. Was I the DYG? I think I was wearing this sweatshirt and I did have, so all my stuff I keep in a locker. Yeah. Uh, all my hockey stuff, except my stick. Your sticks don't fit in the locker. So I was carrying my hockey stick. So maybe I looked like a crazy homeless person. I don't think so. I think if you're, you have a hockey stick. <laughs> Just a hockey stick, though. Okay, but if you were bashing it around and being like, mar, mar, or like using like it as maybe. a lightsaber. Yeah, maybe. Damn, Which I was, but that is really that. baffling. And like the crazy thing is you'll never see him again and you'll never be able to be like, what did you mean? I know. Um, it was. It's like a drive-by. First, though, it's like a drive-by assault where you're just like, w I didn't have time to process that yeah. interaction. Like, come back. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. I, that's funny though to imagine that I was the homeless. Till later. Yeah. No. I'm like, my one question is though, like, what were you wearing? Like, were you asking for it? <laughs> it's like I, I did have my hat out like this. <laughs> yeah, I was I dancing did have my with hat a hat off. out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Took my hat off for a second. I had a sign that said anything helps. But yeah, but that's just a, just a bad pitch for anything. I got a bag of stuff. Stuff is. But it's also like at this point, if it is drugs, just fucking say it. Don't be a baby. Especially if I'm homeless. Especially, yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel like now drug dealers don't even. They're like, I got weed edibles, baby. Like, I when you walk down uh, Saint Mark, like what, wherever you go, that's not. You never. What I'm just in. What situation would you ever say bag of stuff? Yeah, that's what I was so intrigued. What do you for. mean? What the fuck do you mean? Or if it was food, and I, he did think I was homeless, he would say food. Right. What could stuff what be? What could stuff be? Just like Rubik's cubes. Dude, like what was it? He's like, I like need to know. He's like, I, I got a bag of coloring books. You yeah. Want, like what could well, it have been? Well, if you said hungry and stuff, it's got to be food. But yeah. why wouldn't you say food? What? A anyway, sketchy. Weirdo. Yeah, you can actually a drug. Like you can buy shroom chocolates at like every bodega. You can buy. Well, okay. So I'm West trying to do Village. a bit about this on, uh, in stand up about how can we make it a little less embarrassing to buy weed these days? It is. <laughs> I miss when it was sketchy. Oh, yeah, I, remember you tried that. I miss that when way. it was sketchy and shameful because mm -hmm. now it's like, have you seen the places that have the fucking red carpets out and the and the velvet ropes and it's yeah, yeah, like it's weed world up. and they're blasting yeah, yeah. like going bad by Meek Mill. It's like, yeah. can I do this in private? Like that is funny. It's like it's it went from being like the most secretive thing to the most attracted thing. Like, yes. And yeah, now yeah. the red carpets, are you kidding? I want to get in the back of someone's yeah, car what? that I don't know and be like, yeah, can I get a fucking, can I get, can I get a, a Graham or an eighth? And they're yeah. just like, yeah. And then they give it to you and you don't even look at them. Like I miss that. Yeah. Kids will never know. Yeah. He's Tom Segura has a good, it's not related to the first, the first part, but the, Tom Segura has a good bit where he's like, he's like, he's like, I daddy, he's like, uh, daddy used to get in cars with strangers like blah blah blah, and then he was like, "Cause he would like you'd literally sit in a car, and the guy and you'd be like, uh, and the guy would just start driving, and you'd be like, hey, where are we going?'" The guy would be like, "Chill." You'd be like, "All right." No, literally, like I miss that. <laughs> yo, where are we going? Chill. All chill. right. <laughs> okay, I miss that like borderline kidnapping. Yeah. Just, yo, chill. And you right. just do it because you needed the weed, and you were eighteen, That's and amazing. you just did it. And now it's like. I there's a place across me where you walk in, they go, Welcome to the weed store. And it's like, Can you? This is so embarrassing. Is it like you think they're like overcompensating from the years of oppression? I don't know. Now they're it like, is. We got a really flyer but flag. My friends and I were talking about it, and we were like, The best part is imagining. I don't know if this is just like a Brooklyn thing, but the red carpets, like, my favorite thing is imagining that some employee has to get up every day and go to work and be like, oh, I'm gonna roll out the fucking red carpet again. It's not like it's just yeah. an opening day thing. Yeah. Cause I see, but I see, I don't, I haven't smoked weed in like years, but uh, yeah. So I don't really know. The what they're like the yeah. culture or like the stores it's so maybe you need to so like explain that a little first if you do do it which yeah. you do i think yeah well i'll usually ask like oh is this a weed crowd and i'll do some yeah. of my weed jokes and then i'll but i think it's also universal that like maybe well it's also probably a new york thing it, though, yeah that like walking around now and it's like weed world it's flashing yeah. lights and it's like um can i do this in private yeah. i'm not trying to like announce that i'm buying yeah. weed and trying to like it's just, it's, it's a also, little much. So it's like antithetical to just like the general vibe of weed. Yeah, it's like, like the opposite of chill. Yeah. Stop <laughs> embarrassing me. Yeah. Like, let me buy weed in private. 
that is funny. But um, yeah, it's like, look at this person by me. There's like spotlights there's on you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, oh my God. And you're like, not, it's just not, it's something that I am not adjusting well to. Yeah. I do like the, how easy it is to get it, but it's, it was a little too embarrassing. Yeah. But, um, okay, I have one more thing that happened to me over I Thanksgiving. Go off. Um, I have a friend whose dad used to coach Wellesley basketball. Or actually, he still does. He's, like, the varsity coach for the basketball team for as long as I've known her. And he recently started coaching. He recently started coaching blind baseball, which is the most chaotic thing I have ever heard in my life. I'm not even making fun of blind people. I'm making fun of just blind baseball. How? I'm not even making fun of it. That might be one of the last things you should do blind. Blind. <laughs> Apparently the ball makes a sound. So, so, so there's a pitcher. A sighted so they pitcher. they throw the ball. Pitcher can see. And when the pitcher throws the ball, the ball makes a noise. Yeah. Now that's a skill to be able to hit that thing. That's like an, another level of. Like, but my thing is like, are there not enough other things Blind people. I mean, maybe if they're having fun, but like, I feel like. To be honest. Actually, I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know any blind people, to be honest. And I don't even. Do I. I haven't really. I, I have a lot of questions. Though. I wish it's I did. something I haven't actually thought a lot about how their like lives are su- like just little things like that. But I just think like blind baseball. Yeah. Basketball, maybe because. No, but not even. How? How does that what work? If the, what, if, what if someone hits a line drive at your forehead? How do you know where to go to the bases? Do the bases make sounds? Like, I just, I can't even comprehend. Yeah, is there like a micro, is there like a speaker at the base? Like, over here. First base, first base. For, like, cons- I don't know. Hey, over here. I don't know. Yeah, that's wild. I've never heard of that. There's weird sports popping up all over the place now. Not that that's weird. Not that blind people are weird. But uh, we, love them. we love them. We love them. They're like. All these weird sports, obscure sports popping up now. It's crazy. But honestly, it's good to see the evolution of blind activities, I suppose. But yeah. that's just logistically. I mean, logistically. I would love to watch it logistically. Right. Insane. That is crazy, though. I just, like, could not believe that. That's almost one of those things that's, the like, too chaos. funny and ridiculous as is. You can't even, like, how do you There's even make a joke on know. it? Yeah. There's nothing to say. The joke is that the, the joke is blind baseball. That's really good. Yeah. That was, that was it for me. I have some notes in my phone. Do, do you have anything specific? Uh, I think that kind of is everything I had. Okay. I mean, oh, this is actually just one of my one of my pet peeves. Go for it. Uh, this is just a pet peeve I had. Just a really quick clip. But one of my biggest pet peeves. Do you like seafood? No. Well. <laughs> is that the pet peeve? <laughs> You're like. Oh, people who it. don't like seafood. Yeah. <laughs> you just look so disappointed. Okay, but no, no some people will. Some people might. My biggest pet peeve is at restaurants when they don't take the tails off of the shrimp when they bring you your food. I mean, yeah. like, because you have to cut them off yourself. Very first world problems. <laughs> Imagine complaining about like the, the shrimp, tails on shrimp yeah. when like, the stuff's happening in Gaza. The like caviar was too warm. Yeah, um, that's like that's all the only other note I had. But, yeah, uh, I think that's gross, and I think that's. I mean, I don't. Well, it's not eat gross. Animals. It's just annoying because you have to like take. Well, I the, think it's gross. Though. Yeah, like I don't need. I don't eat animals. So. Seafood's the best. You don't like seafood, huh? No, oh. especially not seafood. I, I eat meat, but not seafood. That also, though, back to the restaurant thing. Here's a note that I had that's related. When a when <laughs> when a server ends their shift halfway through your meal and they're like, John's going to be taking care of you the rest of the time. It's like, what do you mean? Yeah. We have a whole rapport. All the jokes we made with you are just that. John doesn't know anything about what's happening at this yeah. table. It's a complete vibe. It's a complete... What do you um, mean? Also, like, you can't make it another, what, 20 minutes? Can't you just finish out the meal with us? Like, what an absurd... It's like, almost like they're divorcing you. Yeah, you're like, whoa, what about all the, like, dad jokes that we made earlier yeah. about the bread and the, like, yeah. John is going to come in here and not know anything about us. Like, Yeah, it really built built a whole, like, relationship built, with them. We built a life with we them. We built a life with them, <laughs> and now they're just going to throw, they're going to leave their shift. Yeah, they only that want one thing. so jarring. It's all for the money. They only want one thing. They want they're one pigs. thing, and it's disgusting. They're pigs. <laughs> no, but it, it, they just want a good it tip. is a really weird, uh, like... Phenomenon. My thing's like I can't. Why don't they? Just, I mean, I guess sometimes meals take like an hour and a half. So like, but then don't start that table. Yeah. What do you mean you're switching? What? I mean, I'm sure there's people who manage restaurants who've looked into it more than us, but it, maybe maybe that, it makes sense. But it seems a little a little silly. Do I just read off a few? Yeah. No. I don't. We have time. I okay. Was just, <laughs> when you go, this is another note that I have in my phone. When you go to the doctor, I just had my physical recently. When you go to the doctor and they tell you your blood pressure in a fraction. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? They're like 135 over 80. Oh, yeah. Huh? 
what do you mean? Like, can you just <laughs> good or bad? I don't know. Am I supposed to write it down? I don't like. Just tell do, me when. I don't do like fractions. Yeah, just in my, tell me when. It's it's. What did they tell I've been me? I'm taking math class since eleventh grade. Dude, I wrote buddy. it down what mine was because I was just like, that's an insane thing to look at a non doctor and tell them 185 <laughs> over 60. Yeah. In what world am I supposed to understand what that means? When no one's ever explained. Okay, that mine job. was yeah, mine was 113 over 75. I go okay. Yeah. Should I go? Does that mean I should go to the hospital and get it checked out, or yeah. am I g- good to go? That's good. Don't I give like me a that. fraction ever. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever. That's really funny. <laughs> like, oh my god. To a non doctor. To a so non to give a non doctor a fraction. One thirteen over seventy five. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's funny. Just, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I glad like that. that. That's yeah. Good. Okay. Cool. Do you want to do some over under? Um, right. I have one, but you can do yours. But yeah, what's yours? Overrated. Underrated. Hallmark Christmas movies. I think underrated because everyone hate everyone makes fun of them, hates them so much. But I think you could get joy out of watching one and like making fun of it. Yes, yes, that's what I do. I fucking love Hallmark Christmas movies. Right. It's always the same plot. I think they're I think they're kind of properly rated because people make fun of them a lot. But like, I just think if you're not taking advantage of how funny they are, you're missing out because it's always the same plot. It's a busy woman who's like in the city, meets like goes home and meets the point set of farmer, falls yep. in love, whatever. I swear to God, I watched one recently. The first line in the movie was a woman that pulls up in a limo and she goes, I don't care what day it is. I want those numbers now. And it's oh, like, are you kidding the, me? I want those numbers. I, is I don't so care fast. what day it is. I want those numbers now. I don't care that it's Christmas Eve. I want the numbers now. Like, yes, um, for the Johnson on. report. Yes. Like basically yeah. like, come on the Johnson account. Yeah. <sighs> Ridiculous. Yeah. I think They're that's, so good though. Yeah. I think you got to appreciate bad TV sometimes. So, it's really so funny. much. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else? No, <laughs> no. I mean, we don't even have, to. let's just, I have some just you rathers, but why don't you just go off? Yeah. Um, let me see if there's any good ones. Avocados. Overrated. Well, I would start- say now they're overrated. Like they are good and versatile a little bit, but like they have, they're getting a little too big for their britches. First of all, mm. they're so expensive. Who do they think they are? They they're not they are? like they had a meteoric rise. Yeah. Like eight, t- eight, 10 years ago, whenever that was meteoric rise, <laughs> they got a little big for their britches. They're really expensive. They also like for how expensive they are, for how long they last. They're such divas. They're so, yeah. Avocados are such divas. with bananas too, but bananas are at least cheap. Avocados are the Matt Rife of fruits. Right. I was just, when Meteor- I said meteoric yeah, rise, yeah, that's exactly yeah. I was like, what I was thinking. oh my God. Too fast. They got famous too fast. And right. they got just- Too much exposure. Too much exposure at one time. Avocados. I also don't like avocados. Sorry, but I think you they- You dislike them or you th- are indifferent to them? I eat them because good fats, but I- Well, guacamole is good. I don't love you it. You don't love it? I like salsa better. I, I like both. Would you like rather, if you had to give up one, salsa or guacamole? Sal- chips and sauce is amazing. So good. I don't know. I think I like them both perfectly. Even, you had to choose. No, you can't. Like gun to your head. I probably keep guacamole. Maybe. I would keep. I would keep salsa. Guac is gone for me. I don't know. I feel like you maybe I've had enough guac in my life. <laughs> Where you're done with it, like you hit your quota. Like I hit my quota. You're like ready to give it up. Yeah. I got to 135 over 70. 113 over 75. We just start using that for random metrics for anything. It's like, how are you feeling today? Like 180 over 20. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, my God. I I have no idea what it means. But, um, yeah, I think avocados are I think that's that's an overrated. overrated. They are, like, yeah. They really, I think think we nailed the explanation. Yeah. (laughs) Steph. This one's kind of wild. Say underrated, Over- overrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Did I say it for the last one? No, but I can oh. edit it if we need it. Overrated, underrated. The Titanic. Dude, do That's you know that crazy. this... Do you know I have like a deep, deep thing for the Titanic? Well, let's hear it. If it where now, if not now, if, when? Uh, Titanic, absolutely underrated. In terms of what? Because I was like the movie or the actual Titanic. The like, what are we talking about? The whole thing, dude. I spent my whole life kind of like gaslighting Titanic victims, being like, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Just like swim home, like yeah. get over it. I never like I knew how bad it was, but I never like really saw the movie till I was an adult. Because I remember I watched it as a kid, and it's I was one like, one of my Whatever. favorite movies, dude. I watched it as an adult, that. and I like actually spiraled, and I was like, this was a horrible horrible tragedy and i started like reading books written by the survivors really like, uh, yeah like i went into a bad dark place wow. about the titanic like four years ago maybe wow uh, read books written by the survivors i was like doing a ton of research about it like totally uh in my life underrated because 
I was just kind of gaslighting, being like, fucking swim, like swim, float. Yeah. yeah, I love Titanic. It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Oh, the movie though. <laughs> but I just like the story, the movie. Yeah, I like it all. But I haven't, I haven't done deep dive. Dude, it's really dark. No, I don't think it's like the best movie ever. But I love. No. I like the movie. Like if it's on, I'll throw it on. Wait, actually, I saw. I saw. I almost sent this to you. I saw. Um, it was like a video, a meme kind of thing that was like, dude, the the behind the scenes of the Titanic looks almost as chaotic as the real movie. And it was just like, they're truly like, it, it, there's no special effects. There's water flowing into yeah. a boat and there are people screaming and running around and fighting for their life. Yeah. Have you seen the clip of the two guys talking about, you know what like the Wim Hof method is or something? It's like mm -hmm. a guy who takes like ice baths. And they were oh, like, yes. did you see that? That was a funny no. clip. I, I, I know what the Wim Hof, I know people who do that. Um, and it's he kind was of like, like why? Uh, people who do things like, I have a friend who like, every day this month, I'm going to wake up before the sun and I'm going to take an ice bath. It's like, just why though? Just put your clothes on. Have a little work. fun. Sleep in. But they, they were talking about like, they were like, do you realize like, if, uh, if Wim, Hof, I got to find the clip. I have to find this clip because I can't, I don't want to blow it. Away. I feel like everyone would have survived the Titanic if they'd known about the Wim Hof method. Like if they just focused on slow breathing and mindful. <laughs> It would have been weird to think if Wim Hof was on the Titanic, he would have actually just been swimming around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he would have yeah, been in the water already. Right? <laughs> he would have been having a great He would have already been in the water. Nah, this is nice. I like it. Just enjoyable. We have the beer after and so on. <laughs> nah, my wife is dead. <laughs> what people forget is that there was a point during the mass freezing of the passengers of Titanic where they were actually healthier. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly, they were healthier. <laughs> healthier i love healthier too how good is that that's take? hilarious he would have been in the water already he would have been in the water already sort of just like doing his little thing oh god that is good amazing take <clears throat> there was a point where they got healthier before they died <clears throat> all right i'll just do another one a couple more new year's eve oh god here's my take i think it's people have been hating it so much lately that it's now underrated I think the New Year's Eve hate has been crazy the last, like, six, seven years. Really? I think people hate New Year's. Don't you get that vibe? Yeah. I'm, a lot of people hate New I Year's hate Eve. It. I fucking but hate it. But now it's, like, so hated that I think it's kind of underrated. It's still a holiday. Still get to, still it's a reason like to party. It's, like, to like New Year's Eve now. <clears throat> like, you can still, it's still a reason to go have a good party. Friends, you don't have to go out to a bar. That's chaotic. Yeah. But I think it's been so hated that it's kind of underrated. I hate New Year's Eve so much. I am one of the people that hates What about, it. is this a Nickelback effect, or do you actually hate it? No, I actually hate it because I think that I hated it before everyone else did. Not okay. to be like, I knew it before you did, yeah. but I did. And I've always hated Why is it. That? Um, it's too much pressure. It's stressful. So what I've done is the last couple of years, last like maybe five years, I purposely like do nothing. I go to... I do nothing on purpose. And it actually ends up being like the best night ever. I just think you have too many expectations. Like, oh, am I going to like have a midnight New Year's kiss? Like, no, you're not. Okay. For the 30th year in a row, actually... you're not. <laughs> like, you know, like why this year? Right. Yeah. Like, so, um, yeah, I love to do nothing. And so I do have a good time. But I think New Year's plans just overrated. Way okay. over. Interesting. I like both our takes there. Yeah. Those would you good. rather? I have one with, would you rather? Yeah, do it. Would you rather give up TV or give up music? <sighs> For me, it's easy, but you go first. Well, like, does t what does TV mean? Like TV shows or like watching anything? Like, can you watch movies and documentaries? Because that's different. Like, if you couldn't watch anything, that makes it harder. You can't watch anything, or you can't. Listen you have to, to give listen to anything. Yeah, can't no watch. podcast. No. I think I might have to say give up. TV. Yeah, me too. But easy. like for me, it's easy. You seem to be struggling, but well, I'm just thinking about it. I don't think it's like easy. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a I would give up TV. Why is it so easy? Because I just, like, just not love watch music. a lot. I don't watch a lot of TV. I feel like I listen to music almost 24 seven. So like, do I. Yeah, I like can't leave my house without my headphones. Or I, I also go to have a spiral. Yeah, when I'm in my house, also I'm always listening to music. I just feel like yeah, I guess that's. Yeah, yeah, I think it's easy, actually. You're right. Yeah, good thing we don't have to make that choice, though, you know? Yeah, what a yeah. time to be alive. Yeah.
Okay. Yet, well, as if, yeah. as if we're well, going to go blind or deaf. Big sense of doom there. No, in case like the, if, I don't know. Who oh, knows. if the world. Oh, I if thought you meant like if one of them we couldn't do <laughs> no, anymore. No, 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 no. Pick up baseball. We're not, yeah, we're not deaf. I can't see. Yet. I'll pick up baseball. Yeah. That's when I'll do it. Okay. All right. Um, good. Good app. Cool. Bye. Bye, right, gang. See ya.